Hello and welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome, we are very glad to have you here. In today's video we will demonstrate one of oscilloscope's functions, to adjust and stabilize signal display. Let's connect our oscilloscope to signal generator. For this occasion, we will use square signal, because it is easy to clearly see changes in signal levels, rising and falling of signal, signal slope and etc. As you can see, our signal is all over the place. Of course, this is unacceptable, not only because, our signal won't stay still, but we cannot see, or measure, with any accuracy, anything about signal, for example, point-to-point -point value, period of the signal and etc. Before we learn how to fix this issue, first let's talk about square signal in general, and what are some of the important signal properties you should be familiar with. Let's consider our ideal square signal. We should preface this part of the video with mention that, in real life, there is no ideal square signal, but for educational purposes, and the purpose of this video we will consider our square signal to be ideal. First most important characteristic of the signal is his period. Period is value of time, expressed in seconds, that tells us how long does it take for signal to complete one entire life cycle, and then, starts to repeat. Second most important characteristic of the signal is his point-to-point -point value, expressed in volts. It tells us the absolute value of the signal, which is a result of potential differences, of point of the signal with lowest potential, and point of the signal with highest potential. This point-to-point -point value is an absolute value, and it is not reference to ground, or earth zero ground. Third most important characteristic of the signal is his frequency. Frequency tells us how many times in one second, the signal completes his full cycle. As frequency goes higher, the period grows shorter, and vice versa. The frequency is inversely proportional to period of the signal. So far, we have been dealing with ideal square signal. Now, we would be doing a disservice to our viewers if we skip two other important characteristic of the signal that appear in real-life situation. In ideal signal, all corners of the signal are at 90 degrees. In theory, that means that signal changes its value from the point with lowest potential, to the point with highest potential, in zero seconds, meaning, the change is instant. Unless we are dealing with discrete signals, often wrongly referred to as digital signals, the analog signals are not ideal. Let's compare two signals, side by side. On the left hand side, we have our ideal square signal. On the right hand side, we have a real life analog square signal. At first glance, the difference is obvious. The real-life signal looks more like a trapezoid, than a rectangle. This leads us to fourth most important characteristic of the square signal, time to rise, and time to fall. Time to rise, is the time that takes for the signal to change from the point with lowest potential, to the point with highest potential. In real life, this change is never instantaneous, it always takes some time, albeit, that time measures in nanoseconds, or even less. Analog to that, time to fall, is the time that takes for the signal to change from the point with highest potential, to the point with lowest potential. As we will learn later in videos to come, in electronic, nothing is ever perfect, or ideal, and there are always compromises, and acceptable margins of error. For the most practical purposes and implementations, we assume that real-life square signal is an ideal signal, and that, time to rise, and time to fall, are always zero seconds. Now, let's put into context all we have learned about signals, and see how this all fits in our story about stabilizing signal display. In electronic devices, such as our oscilloscope, Change of signal's voltage is the information that electronic device perceives as trigger event. Based on that trigger event, 
electronic device can use that event to count the number of changes in signal level. Such devices are called counters, and are, often, in form of integrated circuit. Another use of such event is with our oscilloscope. It uses that same trigger event to stabilize signal display. By now, you may have noticed this strange looking icon, that appears at bottom of our display. It is used to set oscilloscope trigged function. By pressing cell button, put focus on the trigged icon. Using plus and minus push buttons, change the appearance of the icon into one of two possible options. The first option is rising trigged icon. It sets the oscilloscope in mode of work, where change from lower to higher voltage in the signal, initiates trigger event. The second option is descending trigged icon. Analog to previous, it sets oscilloscope in mode of work, where change from higher to lower voltage in signal, initiates trigger event. The arrow in the middle of the icon changes its orientation from pointing upward, to pointing downwards, respectively, and the icon itself, changes to indicate whether the falling or rising of the signal is what causes the trigger event. This selection works in conjunction with another icon on the display. That is arrow pointer on the right hand side of the screen. Using cell push button set focus on the arrow pointer icon. Use plus and minus push button to slide arrow pointer icon vertically, up or down, on the screen. Now, there are two scenarios how we can achieve signal stabilization using combination of the trigged icon and arrow pointer icon. First scenario is one in which we want to use rising part of the signal to initiate trigger event. So, by pushing cell button let's set focus on trigged icon, and use plus and minus push button to select option with arrow on the icon pointing up. Now, again, by using cell push button, let's set focus on arrow pointer on right hand side of the screen. Slide the icon up or down vertically on the screen, until the icon is leveled with bottom of the signal. You can see that the signal immediately stabilizes and the green LED diode starts to blink, mimicking signal's frequency. Analog to first, the second scenario uses falling part of the signal to initiate trigger event. So, by pushing cell button let's set focus on trigged icon, and use plus and minus push button to select option with arrow on the icon pointing down. Now, again, by using cell push button, let's set focus on arrow pointer on right hand side of the screen. Slide the icon up or down vertically on the screen, until the icon is leveled with top of the signal. You can see that the signal immediately stabilizes and the green LED diode starts to blink, mimicking signal's frequency. This procedure can be used to stabilize signal display on both, genuine DSO-138 oscilloscope, and other DSO-138 device, with one exception. On the newer versions of DSO-138 device, the green LED diode does not light up ever, nor does it flash, mimicking the frequency of the signal. We cannot tell if this is design flaw or deliberate decision to leave out one of the functionalities of the original device. Please, before you leave, show your appreciation by liking this video, sharing it, leaving a comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.